it is a mistake not to make a mistake because making mistakes means you are learning but there are some mistakes you should avoid if you want to continue to be successful on youtube and i'm going to be sharing 10 of them with you welcome 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 to my channel mistake number one wasting viewers time if you're wondering how can you potentially waste people's time not properly editing your videos if you have a 10 minute information upload a 10 minute video don't make it any longer than that edit out repetitions edit out long pauses edit out unnecessary clips deliver value in every second and minute of your video stop wasting your viewers time by sprinkling ads on your videos more ads doesn't mean more revenue you can turn people off by putting more ads and sometimes more gives less and at times less gives more be reasonable with your mid-row ad placement and if you're wondering how many ads should i put on my video take a cue from youtube youtube doesn't allow you to place ads in between a video that is less than eight minutes so consider that as a yardstick i recommend as a rule of thumb an eight to one ratio meaning if you have an eight minute video place only one ad if you have a 16 minute video place two ads and so on and so forth wasting viewers time is something you want to avoid mistake number two waiting for the perfect time there really isn't a perfect time it is rather more like you creating the time and perfecting as you go along if we all have to wait until we're ready we might be waiting for the rest of our lives take advantage of the opportunity you have and try out new things Yes, you will make mistakes along the way. You might even make mistakes that you think you shouldn't be making, but that is okay. Making mistakes gives you the opportunity to learn new things. As long as you are trying things out, you will make mistakes. And as you make mistakes, you become better at what you do, which means you're gaining more experience. I know it's kind of ironic that the video is centered around mistakes to avoid and in the same breath sort of encouraging you to make mistakes but let me be clear i'm not asking you to intentionally go out and seek to make mistakes no i'm encouraging you to stop procrastinating and anticipating a perfect time i'm encouraging you to try out new things and letting you know that as you try new things out you will make mistakes and that is perfectly okay and more importantly I'm sharing my own learning points, which is mistakes that myself and other YouTubers have made. And I'm hoping that you're going to use that as a cue to avoid them. And avoiding such mistakes gives you additional time that ordinarily you would have spent making the same mistake. So hopefully you too will share your own mistakes and learning points. Okay, enough said. Let's move to point number three mistake you want to avoid is not being known for anything if someone asks your viewers what would they say your channel is about can you describe your channel in five words if a potential subscriber comes to your channel and browses through what would your videos your titles your thumbnails tell them will they leave confused or will they get it immediately do you need to explain what your channel is about? If you need to explain what your channel is about, then it means there's work for you to do. And that is okay. Do not be a jack of all trade and master of nothing. Another mistake to be careful of is blaming it all on YouTube. That is a mistake you really should avoid. Successful people take the glory for the wins but they also take the responsibility for their losses. They do not blame YouTube for low views or for loss of subscribers or for low revenue. No, they continually look for ways to improve. They look for new things to learn. They stay away from people who are always complaining and blaming someone else. If YouTube doesn't take the accolades for your success, why then should they take the responsibility for areas where you have not excelled? Next point. 
you do not want to lose focus of your clients. Don't make that mistake. As a YouTuber, viewers and subscribers are your clients. YouTube is the salesman or the middleman. You, the YouTuber, are the technical service provider. You're the one providing the content. Do not lose focus of the different roles. Make sure you have your priorities in the right order for the client, the middleman, and yourself. Majority of your focus should be on the client and not the salesman. Focus on your clients by supplying what the demand is. Upload content that people want. Focus on your clients by packaging your product that makes a smooth sale. Your titles, your thumbnails, that is your packaging. Without the viewer, without the client, there is no need for YouTube and the YouTuber. So ensure that you have your priorities in place and never lose focus of the client. Next mistake to avoid, zero planning on any level. You need to make plans to have dedicated time to do your research, dedicated time to develop yourself as a content creator, dedicated time to reproduce or produce good quality videos, dedicated time for you to rest, for you to revitalize, for you to refresh yourself. I know many YouTubers, myself included, walk, walk, walk until the burnout. That isn't healthy. I recommend that you create a realistic schedule or a timetable for taking a break off YouTube, for taking time out to research, for taking time out to educate yourself, dedicate time to produce your videos, dedicate time to record in batches if possible. I recommend you do it. I'm sure you know of the popular saying, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Mistake number seven to avoid, overvaluing unnecessary opinion and undervaluing constructive feedback. What are unnecessary opinions or comments? Number one, you don't speak English properly. Hello? Not all English people speak English properly. So it's an unnecessary opinion. Another unnecessary opinion, you have an accent. Well, there is no accentless person. The English speak with a distinct accent that is different from the Scottish person, that is different from the Irish, and they are all from the United Kingdom. So someone telling you you have an accent is laughable and opinions like that should be taken simply for what it is, an opinion. It is not a feedback. Feedback directly relates to your content of your video. If the comments that you get in your live, on your live stream or your videos or your premieres or whatever have nothing to do with your content, then they are unnecessary. If they are about your content, then have a look at them. Be mature enough to take constructive criticism. Be mature enough to identify quickly what the grass is and what the grain is. Take constructive criticism or feedback on the chin and encourage people to give you such feedback. If someone tells you your background music was too loud, that is constructive feedback. You should value it. If someone suggests you turn on your subtitles on your video, that is constructive feedback. You should value it. Do not spend your time mourning over one negative comment when you have 50 positive comments. Identify what shouldn't be undervalued and what shouldn't be overvalued. Next point, avoid copying people's video. Yes, there's nothing new under the surface of the earth, but how we do it is what makes us unique. Get inspiration from people, put your own twist on it. Copying someone means you will always be one step behind them. Copying doesn't give you, copying takes away from you. 
It takes away the time you could have used to tap into your own creativity. Valuable time is passing by with your creativity level on zero. You can copy someone's results, but you cannot copy someone's creativity. Live up to your potential instead of imitating someone else. Stop doing what exactly big YouTubers or celebrities are doing. If a celebrity or a big YouTuber you admire does a video about their daughter's birthday, why do you think it's a good video idea for you? Especially if you're not well known. I mean, you can get inspiration from a celebrity's daughter's birthday. There's nothing wrong with that. Make a video in a way that it adds value. Put your own spin on it. You can do a video on how you throw a birthday party for your daughter on a budget. It appears to be the same thing, but the difference is that you're providing value with your own unique touch. Get inspiration from people, put your own twist on it. And even when you get inspiration, please give credit to the person you're getting inspiration from. Now this ties in nicely with my next point. Impatience. Impatience is one of the reasons people copy other people. At times we're in a hurry. We want to join YouTube today, release a video tomorrow, have billions of views the next day alongside millions of dollars. Nothing good works like that. Nothing sustainable works like that. Do not be in a hurry. Let things follow due process. Do not end up going backwards because you are in a big hurry to move forward. Avoid being impatient. Now this takes me to my very last point. Do not fake who you are. You cannot sustain being someone else. There are people who just like your personality. There are people who just like what you truly value. There are people who like your opinion. There are people who like you just the way you are. If you give yourself and give people the chance to know you by just being yourself, believe in yourself and believe that you're good enough. Being good enough doesn't equate to zero self-improvement, not at all. Improve yourself, develop yourself, learn new things, but remain true to yourself. People can sense when you're not passionate about something. People can sense if you're not in, in your comfort zone or if you're not comfortable in your skin. People can sense when you're not being true to yourself. Don't make the mistake of trying to be someone you're not. Guys, these are my 10 mistakes I think are important for us to avoid for more and more success on YouTube platform. If you do have some mistakes that you would like to share, please, please leave me a comment and share the mistakes that you've made so I too can avoid it and others can avoid it. Thank you once again so much for watching. Take care and bye.